Hey guys, what's up? It's Ghostface Reviews. I've got a pretty special video for you today. This is an item I've wanted to pick up for quite a long time and this is the 2002 limited edition Evil Dead Necronomicon or Book of the Dead. This is a special edition, uh, very limited piece that is fairly, it's fairly rare. Uh, there's a few different editions, one of which has a darker cover and um, there's another one for Evil Dead 2. Um, I believe there might be one more, I'm not too sure which one that is though, but I managed to find this one and yeah, it has no damage or anything. I got this on eBay for, I think it was about £30, £35 uh, second hand, but as I said it's in brand new condition so I'll uh, just take the uh, cover off it, the protective cover, and uh, I'll show you it in detail in a second. So I've just taken the cover off the Necronomicon itself just to show you um, the packaging art itself so it's just got the Evil Dead logo and it just states that it's a limited edition with the Book of the Dead uh, text there it's got the age certificate obviously being an 18 and then on the reverse we have what's included so it's just all the special features this comes with it's got a lot of limited stuff with it um, that I don't think you can find anywhere else, so it's a really, really cool, really, really cool piece to have if you're an Evil Dead fan. And just down there, it states the package design is from 2002. So that's the packaging. I'll show you the Necronomicon itself in a second. So here it is, guys, out of the packaging. This is the Necronomicon, also known as the Book of the Dead. If you've seen the Evil Dead movies, you'll know that the Necronomicon is supposedly bound in human flesh. Um, and you just, if you look, you can see, obviously see the face on the cover of the book. And obviously the, all the skin-like details. The spine is really gross looking. And the back actually has an ear sewn onto it. Almost like a leather face mask, which is super cool. Loads of really gross looking details. And the T. Sullivan. Now, I don't know if you can see this that well on the camera, but the book itself is actually squashy, like human flesh on the outside. It's really, really cool. It's super creepy. Um, I love it. It's one of the best things I've bought in such a long time. Just trying to see if you can see that or not. But it's super creepy and yeah, I am so happy to have picked this up. I'll uh, show you the inside of the book now itself and we'll go through all the pages, what's on them and the contents of the actual book itself. Okay guys, so opening up the Book of the Dead, we have... The flesh bound cover again on the inside with the same effect as the outer cover. And then the title page just saying the Evil Dead Book of the Dead and some artwork. We've got two blank pages. Not sure why they left those blank, it would have been nice to see more artwork. Uh, here we have the introduction. Now this is just stating information about this edition, uh, how it came to be made and whatnot. And it just tells you about the artist who made this piece, Tom Sullivan, whose signature is also on the back that I showed you earlier on when we looked at the outside of the actual Necronomicon itself. This side we have some really really cool artwork again even more from the Necronomicon. Turning over to the next page we have some some cool text which at these all the text in this book I believe can actually be translated online. Uh, I'm not quite sure how but apparently you can translate this and it is actually real words from the book. Uh, I've seen a few people who've reviewed this Saying that you can do that, I'm not 100% that you can, but it's worth checking out if you're actually interested in deciphering that. 
And then below it just says the Book of the Dead, sculpted by Amber Page's artwork, created by Tom Sullivan, copyright 2002. I mean, this book is in great condition to say it's from 2002. Then we have one of the coolest pieces of artwork in the book. These all look hand-drawn in person. Uh, I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but hopefully it's well. And then we have even more scripts and some uh, pictures of eyes and other symbols on this page. This side, we don't have anywhere near as much text, but we have some cool illustrations of skulls and a few more symbols. And the page is just generally made to look old and dirty. Next page, we've got some really cool images of hands, claws, and again, even more text from the book. This page is definitely one of the coolest in the book, artwork-wise. Um, just try to get some close-ups. These are all hand-drawn, um, and then I assume they were just mass-printed for this edition, but they are really, really nice. Got the hand and again more script. The next page has what appears to be a decaying arm from the top to the bottom, showing the processes, which is quite cool. Again, with more script. This page again is really, really cool. Uh, some great artwork on this one of a winged demon, uh, potentially facing off with two other demons. The, uh, the amount of work that must have gone into making this is pretty insane. Um, I definitely plan on picking up the other editions now I've looked at it up close and whatnot. This page we've got, again, even more great artwork. And more text at the top. This one we've got some images of eyes and some quite uh, anatomical drawings. More eyes. <clears throat> another page. This side is another really, really cool page. We've got an image of the Necronomicon itself. A picture of the book inside the book. And then we've got two more blank pages. Um, I assume they left that so you could maybe do your own uh, Evil Dead style drawing in, but I mean, I'm 100% not doing that. <laughs> or to make the book look unfinished, maybe. And then we've got some interesting uh, links, websites, and, you know, things like that about the cast and the crew. So if you're interested in any of those and you're an Evil Dead fan, feel free to pause the video and uh, visit some of these links. And then the next page, we have a really cool, uh, th almost 3D image, which is holding in this booklet um, of the basement uh, basement scene, where she's peering through <laughs> at the uh, others in the cabin. It's one of the best scenes in the movie. Uh, I have a question actually for you viewers. What is your favourite? Do you prefer the original Evil Dead or the remake of the original? I'm torn. I, obviously I think the original is great, but I do think the remake is one of the better remakes of classic horror movies. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Which is your favourite? It can be Evil Dead 2 as well. Or any of the others, even the TV show. Uh, so yeah, this book I will show you in a second in detail because it's quite a uh, lengthy one. But that is also a really cool piece to this. The next page of the Necronomicon is the chapter selection of the DVD. And here we have the Evil Dead original which is the Fawn Cut Special Edition. Super, super cool. Uh, the fact it's stored inside the book is really awesome as well. It's just 
just sort of uh, in a sleeve that's attached to the page. And uh, that's the back of the book there. The last page. And then again, the cover bound in flesh. And then the ear on the back. Be careful, once this is the book that it comes with. It's made to look really old and weathered on the outside. I assure you that is not damage. That is actually part of the artwork design. I'm just trying to open this one ended. This is a history of the Evil Dead, basically. This booklet. It's quite cool, it's got quite a lot of pages to it. Um, I won't show you it all in case you want to buy it, but. There's facts, behind the scene photos, uh, information about production, etc. Even more artwork. And then we've got images of comic books and whatnot. Some more uh, images, those that, that's the uh, VHS. That's the, sorry, that's the same cover that you can see there, but it's on the VHS that I've got, that I reviewed a few months back. Uh, what else? Yeah, just I'll go through all of it. I mean, it's quite a long book. It's just got loads of interesting stuff. But, yeah, so that's the Evil Dead Special Edition Book of the Dead Necronomicon. Super, super cool piece. Really happy to have added this to my collection. I hope you enjoyed this review and if you uh, are a fan of The Evil Dead I would highly highly suggest getting this because this video as I said earlier it just doesn't do it justice. This looks 10 times better than it does through this um, this camera. So I'd highly suggest picking one of these up if you're a fan. Um, definitely worth the money. They, get, they are getting quite pricey these days because they are very very limited pieces but I mean I've been waiting months and months to find one for a good price and I finally got one for one so yeah I'd like to thank you all for watching please like comment and subscribe and turn the notification bell on for well to be notified when I make more reviews um, if you've got any videos you want me to check out comment below and I will and other than that I want to wish you a great day and I will catch you in the next review everyone cheers